This project is called uh, the Circular Economy in the County Aggregation and Industrial Parks. It was uh, birthed as a, as a result of um, what we are going through as a can as not just as a country but also uh, globally. We are looking at uh, biodiversity loss. We are looking at climate change impacts. We are looking at pollution, and all. Um, the effects that it has on us. We are looking at agri-food agri systems. They contribute 31% uh, of total uh, greenhouse gas emissions, which is quite huge. So as uh, FAO, uh, in collaboration with UNIDO and IOM, we came up with a program to see how we can counter uh, this. So circular economy basically is, is, is about um, getting rid of the linear model that we see in terms of um, how we utilize resources. We, we have a take uh, resources model, we use it and then we dispose of it. So how do we ensure that um, the waste, we do not see waste as, as, uh, as waste, the waste is being wasted. So how do we make sure that uh, uh, as we utilize resources from Mother Nature, and we know very well Mother Nature can be very mean. If we do not take care of her, she will show us things. We've seen recently matters related to the drought that we experienced. Immediately we, uh, we got out of the drought season, we went into the flooding season. So she can be very, very hostile and we need to start taking care of her. And for Yamira, we have uh, picked on banana. Among the main chain, uh, value chains we have, we have picked on banana as the first value chain to be considered and simply because this is one of the widespread crops in Yamira. And in line with the circular economy, of course, among the things we are looking at, number one, is how to reduce waste uh, because much of it is being wasted and uh, the farmer is not getting value for the investment they are making. Number two, as much as we are get, going to reduce waste, how much do we empower the Mwananchi and the farmer in terms of the economic value on what they are doing? And finally, how do we protect nature? So at the end of the day, this circular economy is all about how we can make use of the resources available, minimize and minimize greatly on wastage, and still put more empowerment on the side of the farmer so that we can encourage and increase productivity. I keep is blessed with the uh, range land, a wide range of land. Uh, we are producing between 300 to 350,000 uh, cattles in a year and almost 1 million uh, sheep and goats. So that now gives an opportunity to value, to value add uh, the products that come out of it, out of the beef. Uh, for instance, uh, we can consider hides, we can consider the skins from the sheep and goats uh, to do value addition and come up with leather products. Uh, the, the farmers, the producers are, and even the processors are doing it at a small scale. So we are, doing, we are looking at once the pack is complete, uh, now they can now go at a large scale, at a full scale, but currently the farmers are, uh, the producer groups are still doing the, uh, the circular economy. You can still find, uh, we have a group of women, a group of uh, women that are doing uh, leather processing at Kimanjo, a place in Laikipia North. Uh, we have uh, aggregators of hides and skin within Rumruti area that are continuing with, uh, uh, that are in the process of the circular economy. It contributes to around uh, uh, 7 to 10 percent of the Laikipia County's GDP. Laikipia is uh, largely uh, livestock and livestock production and part of it is also on uh, crop production. So it's, uh, that one has been firmly entrenched in the uh, County Integrated Development Plan for Laikipia County for the, the next five years.